Hello from Derek Ray and Stuart Robson, and this is a mouth-watering knockout stage clash if ever there was one. Germany and Italy on the same pitch. What's going to happen, Stuart? Well, it's going to be a difficult game for both sides. Both are playing good football at the moment. But my memory always goes back to this fixture, 1982, the Bernabeu Stadium in Madrid, when Marco Tardelli scored that third goal for Italy and that celebration. What a day that was. Let's hope we get a good game here. Here's the starting lineup for Germany. Manuel Neuer begins in goal. Niklas Süle starts with Antonio Rüdiger in central defence. Serge Gnabry starts with Leroy Zane in the wide areas. And they line up with just the one striker looking to do a bit of damage. And the Italy starting 11. Gianluigi Donnarumma stands between the posts. Jorginho plays alongside Nicolo Barella in the centre of midfield. And the focal point in attack today, Ciro Immobile. And now they get the ball rolling. Leon Goretzka. Zane has it. Zane. Goretzka. On to Gnabry. Well, nothing for the players in the middle to work with. But it's fair to say Lorenzo Insigne can be the centrepiece of any game. What sort of performance are you anticipating seeing from him today, Stuart? Well, Derek, in the last game, he was absolutely outstanding. It wasn't just the two goals that he scored, but it was his general play, his link-up play, his ability to run beyond defenders, his ability on the ball to create. I think we're going to see more of the same today. High-quality defending. Chiro Immobile. It's a good-looking ball in behind. Chiesa. And it's in! 1-0. They've breached the defence. Well, here you can see it again. He's gone for placement over power, and it's a brilliant finish. moving once more how important will that opening goal prove to be oh nice ball and plenty of scope to be creative in that wide position but timely defending when it mattered this could level it oh but the keeper with an important save how important is that well he should score from there that's a wasted opportunity he should beat the keeper from that sort of distance Going short. Sané. Return to Gnabry. Determined defending.
Uh, how about the short corner? Zulu. Kiro Immobile. Chance to do damage. Well, possibilities in the centre. Well, Germany have had a lot of the ball during the last 15 minutes, as you can see, and have been really positive with it. They're creating opportunities, and it's surely only a matter of time before they draw level here. Jorginho. Immobile now. Breaking at pace. Well, it petered out. Leon Goretzka. Adeyemi. And they successfully got past him. Options in the middle. Oh, maybe the equaliser. Save, but still a chance. Just needs to get it out of there. A chance then for the respective managers to address their charges. It is half time here. So back underway and an intriguing second half in prospect. So a half an hour remaining. And support available. Not really what you want to see from your keeper. Oh, it comes to nothing in the end. Really should have made more of that. So a personnel change then. Leonardo Spinazzola, Alessandro Bastoni, Barella, and now with Di Lorenzo, Chiesa, on to Immobile, must score, he can't hold on to it, well it looks so threatening but the danger averted, and they're making a change, Has time to play it over. Oh, nice ball over the top. This looks more than decent. Oh, defensive resilience in the end. That's all that matters. Now can they counter clinically? Well, it fizzled out. Lorenzo Insigne. Spinazzola. And thumped away. Ah. 
Havertz. They're still pressing for a goal here. And very deftly cut out. And the fourth official confirming that we'll have one additional minute. And there's the referee's whistle. A semi-final place for Italy, now guaranteed. Well, they were certainly pleased to hear the final whistle because that was a really tough match, which in the end they just about deserved to win. This is a good result for them, and they're going to the next round fancying their chances. Well, we're focusing on him for a reason. Played with real authority and attack, Stuart. Well, I enjoyed watching him today. His work rate, skill and movement were excellent, and he fully deserved to score that winning goal.